The horses are on the track for the seventh race. Condition pace for fillies and mares. Number one is Brandy's Baby. All by the MJGB Racing Stable, Mike Lachance, the driver. Number two, Smooth Latin N. All by the FS Stars Stables, Jim Morrill, Jr. Number three, A Trace of Magic. All by Sherman, Grossman, and Horowitz with Eric Ledford. Number four, Bolero Agatha. She's owned and driven by Danielle Dubay. Number five, Vincent Ali is Chip and Gale A with Cat Manzi. Number six, Slick Gated, owned by Leon and Lorraine Matches and Gary Matches with George Brennan. Number seven, Shopper's Delight, owned by Ken Conover and Alvin Stafford with John Campbell. Number eight, Another Porsche, all by Niss Allen Incorporated, Dave Miller. Number nine is Yankee Promise, all by Mark LeBray and James Wilno with Luke Wallet. And number ten is Cannon's Doris, all by Ken Spurlock, Ron Pierce. Is in the it's key. post time for the seventh race. Conditioned fillies and mares lined up in behind the gate, and they're nearing the start. And they're off. Brandy's baby has her head cocked around to the left and struggles a bit early from the rail position. First out is Smooth Latin in for the front. Up close between horses, a trace of magic driving on toward the lead. Chip and Gale on the outside third. Brandy's baby is now straightened out. She's racing in fourth. Another Porsche up on the outside looks for a talk in fifth. Bolero Agatha is sixth on the inside, followed up by Slick Gated from seventh. Then it's Shopper's Delight, second to last as they pace the opening turn. Yankee Promise, first quarter in 27 and 3. And Kenan's Doris backed off the gate from the outside and trails the field. Chip and Gale A takes the lead from a trace of Magic, who has a broken head pull. And rushing up on the outside is Brandy's Baby. And Brandy's Baby sprints past to assume command as they head toward the half mile marker. Smooth Latin end racing in fourth, a bad step for Bolero Agatha. Coming out there was another Porsche, who's now first over. And Shopper's Delight is caught out there three wide. Up the rail trapped in is Slick Gated. Yankee Promise races in ninth a half and 56 and four. And at the back of the pack, Kenan's Doris is tipped to the outside in 10th as Brandy's Baby leads the way onto the far turn. Little more than three eighths to go. Chip and Gale A sits right in behind her, tracking in second. Another Porsche first up on the outside. And Shopper's Delight is utilizing her cover. She's second over. A trace of magic is locked in at the rail. Third over on the outside is Smooth Latin End as they head to the three-quarter marker and Brandy's baby is there in 126 and 1. Another Porsche trying to grind her down on the outside and Chip and Gale A needs to shake free at the top of the stretch. She's trapped in right now. Brandy's baby starts to edge away. Plenty of room now for Chip and Gale A and other Porsche is backed up a bit. A trace of magic races forth. Shopper's delight and Yankee promise on the outside but it is Brandy's baby sprinting clear and Brandy's baby looking for the line but she will Will win it. Chip and Gale A second. Shopper's Delight third. One fifty four and three. Returning to the winner's circle, number one, Brandy's Baby. Six year old run the table mare out of Brandy Lou Hanover by Big Towner. Owned by the MJGB Racing Stable of Suffern, New York. Patrick Lachance trains and Mike Lachance is in the sulky. His second winner this evening. Brandy's Baby, second win of the season. The time 154 and 3 fifths results official. In the winner's circle from the applied companies, we welcome Ferdinand Santiago making the trophy presentation to winning driver Mike Lachance and Brandy's Baby. Number one, Brandy's Baby, 680, 420, 380. And congratulations to tonight's Pepsi Challenge contestant, Sage who correctly selected Brandy's baby. She wins dinner for two at Terrace's trackside.